Hello, this is John Sauls. Just want to go over quick how to do a backup and restore on an Insight system. Uh, we have the Insight software set up here. I have a camera, which is my old camera, my existing camera. Uh, so if I want to do a backup, I just come in here to System, and I say Backup, and select whichever cameras. I can do multiple cameras. Uh, click on the Backup button, and it will go ahead and back those all up. Um, so now let's say uh, at some point my camera has now died and I want to do a restore on it. So first of all I have to find the new camera. Uh, normally to do that I would come into here to system and say add device to network and it will show up on this list. Uh, right now I don't have a new one I just have my existing camera so I'm going to go ahead and change my camera to a different name. So now here is my new camera that I've added um, and my new camera normally will have a name like IS 5100 and then part of the Mac address of the camera that's the default name for the camera but for our purposes we're just gonna call it new camera now if I wanted to go ahead and restore my system I can click on the system and click restore and you can see it comes up here it doesn't know any cameras that are named new camera so the first thing that I really need to do is I need to change my camera to match whatever the old cameras name is now hopefully you've written it down. Um, if you didn't, then you have to go and find the folder to find what that old camera was called. So if I pull up that folder, uh, one of the interesting things here about, uh, and I, I don't know if this is a Windows thing or a Cognix thing, but they're storing things now in a directory called program data. And you can see that program data does not show up under your directories here. Um, you can search for files that are in that directory. You can uh, click all day long and you're not going to find that directory. I, I, it's a hidden directory. So what I come in here and do is I just come in and type C colon and you can see I've actually done this a few dozen times. Um, there's a folder called program data and you can just click on that and then within there there's one called, oh, let's click on the Cognix. Uh, there's a folder called Insight then a folder called for each one of your Insight Explorer files and this has been going on since 4.5 so we can come in here and there's our backups and there's my old camera so I know now what the name of my directory is it's old camera so now if I come back over here I can change my camera name by coming up here and clicking on sensor and the network settings and just say it is the old camera and it say I want to restart so yes we're gonna go ahead and restart so now that we are, we've restarted the camera with the old camera name and I can come up to system and say restore and it's going to come up and give me the choice of old camera. Now one of the things that you have to know is when it does this restore it will restore it with whatever was the last uh, directory, the last time you backed it up. Um, so if you click on there and you click restore uh, it'll say the insight is about to be rebooted after I do it. Go ahead and do the restore. And I will go ahead and restore the program. and then it'll say that it's going off to restore it or to restart the system and you'll see it's blank out like this and it will go ahead and wait to reconnect for a few seconds and you can see down here at the bottom it says connecting to old camera and and that is it the window will close up and it will go away and uh, then we're all set up and ready to run. We can start our system off and it will restore all of the I.O. settings, it will restore all of the uh, IP addresses, any of the communications that you have set up for all intents and purposes. This is now the exact same camera as the old camera. So uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.